Michelle, we're here at Rip Gym. It's Thursday morning, half nine o'clock. There's a lockdown on. Why are you open? Uh, we've opened for our members for their mental health. Um, we deem ourselves as essential for members and their mental health. Um, but, but there are possible consequences here. There are possible consequences which I'm willing to take. If the government would report correct figures and not manipulate the figures, then I would be more than happy to abide by the rules. But when I'm being lied to, no, I won't. We'll go back to March first and then we'll come back to the yes. figures, okay? Um, so when the lockdown happened in March, where did, you, did you open? Or? Absolutely not. We didn't know what the virus was. It hit our shores. We didn't know what it was. We did the right thing. We shut down for four and a half months, which was only supposed to be two weeks to flatten the curve. So for four and a half months, we had no money, no wages. We had minimal help from the government. But it was a public health emergency and we shut down. So you'd say you're one of the group of people who said, we're with this in March, we understand. And even though you're taking a financial hit, yes. Rip Gin's been here quite a while, hasn't it? You yes. know? Well, he's, he's been here for 12 years. Yeah. Um, so, but then you reopened. How were things after you reopened? We struggled. Um, we lost a lot of members, obviously, because we, I find it down the scaremongering on the media. Um, so, yeah, but I mean, we, we managed to keep ourselves together. You know, they, they give you bounce back loans and then shut you down again. So when this idea of shutting down, which is a reality, how did you feel? Uh, cheated. Lied to. Yeah. So when you say the statistics, so for example, when they said the possibility of 4,000 deaths a day, um, did you think, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not buying that? Well, no, they say on the telly, it's, say, for example, 400 deaths in the last 24 hours. That's any death within 28 days of a positive test. So you can test positive today, in two weeks' time, get run over by a car, and they'll put it down as COVID. So they're not COVID deaths. They're not even COVID related. They're just 28 deaths within a positive test. So some people might say, when did you suddenly become an epidemiology expert? You don't need to be an epidemiology expert. You just need to uh, read. And so what, I mean, Thursday morning, it looks pretty busy, but are you expecting a visit from the authorities? And if so, what are you going to do? Um, I do expect a visit from the authorities and um, Rick Jim comes under common law. So we are... We, we have a right, the government is there to govern, not to rule. So I have a right to earn a living, and I'm going to. And, and finally, so you're seeing that other gyms have, have done, tried to do what you have done. Yep. They've been fined. Yep. You could expect a, fine, a hefty fine here. I'm willing to lose this business for what I believe in. And I believe the government's lying. I, I honestly believe the government's lying. Cancer patients, heart disease. People are not being seen in the hospital. NHS staff are now speaking up and publicly resigning. It, it's, no, I'm not, it, it's happening all over Europe. We can't let this continue.